Welcome, and thank you for taking the time to learn a bit more about the Unit Service Plan. This is one of a series of videos designed to help you to learn to use the Unit Service Plan to provide better service, helping units provide quality scouting programs to youth. This module will explain key concepts related to a collaborative unit assessment. The topics we will discuss include the benefits of a Unit Service Plan, the importance of building good relationships with unit leaders, the need to focus on improvement rather than journey to excellence scores, and Commissioner Tool's flexibility that any traditional unit can be assessed. Unit assessments aren't new. Our approach to them, though, should be. Traditionally, we've asked our unit commissioners to assess units independently based on their observations during visits. We trained them to make recommendations to unit leaders to improve unit performance. Traditionally, we've trained our unit leaders to conduct self-assessments and develop ways to improve unit performance. Traditionally, we've recruited subject matter experts to staff our district committees. There, we could find individuals with a passion for advancement or training or growing membership or finance or camping or any one of a number of topics about which leaders need to know how to help their unit grow and prosper. Traditionally, we didn't have processes to facilitate coordination of those assessments and sharing of that knowledge. Not sharing assessments and expertise made it harder for commissioners to serve units effectively. A unit service plan is a better way. It enables commissioners to fulfill their mission to help units better serve more youth through scouting. It enables increased retention of units. A unit service plan is built upon a collaborative assessment of the unit's strengths and needs. It focuses effort on what should be done immediately to improve program quality. It provides actionable information about unit needs. It links those needs to subject matter expertise available from district operating committees. Building the plan in commissioner tools enables commissioners to work more efficiently. And the plan touches every metric we use to help commissioners improve unit service and every metric we use to help our units improve program quality. It truly is a better way to provide unit service. Collaborative assessments require that unit commissioners and unit leaders communicate, that they work together openly to identify unit strengths and unit needs. Open communication enables them to prioritize those needs. That helps them focus first on tasks that will have the greatest impact on program quality. Sometimes, the only alternative will be to build a plan based on the unit commissioner's assessment of the unit's strengths and needs. Unit service plans based on a collaborative assessment will have the greatest impact, however. Relationships are the foundation of effective collaboration. In fact, relationships are the foundation of effective unit service. Effective relationships are built upon trust. Trust is built upon understanding. Commissioners should seek to understand what motivates unit leaders to serve youth through scouting. Through that process, unit leaders should come to understand that the unit commissioner has only one objective, to help the unit better serve more youth through scouting. Scouting is a game with a purpose. Unit service is an impact game. Commissioners serve units to help them grow and prosper. Once effective relationships have started to develop, Unit commissioners will likely find greater acceptance of a proposal to discuss openly the unit's strengths and needs. Those discussions can result in a collaborative assessment, which will serve as the foundation of a unit service plan. Again, a unit service plan based on a collaborative assessment will have the greatest impact as it provides the greatest focus to everyone involved. Journey to Excellence is the tool we use to continuously improve program quality. The elements of Journey to Excellence are embedded in the design of the unit service plan. Just as all unit leaders may not initially accept the collaborative assessment concept, 
all may not appreciate the value of participation in Journey to Excellence. Unit commissioners with a good relationship with the unit leaders are likely to find them interested in discussing leader training, budgeting, advancement, camping, and so on, all of which are elements of Journey to Excellence. Improving these leading indicators helps the unit improve a quality program, leading to a unit's ability to attract and retain youth and adults. As a result, there is only one place in Commissioner Tools where a reference to Journey to Excellence is found. In Step 6 of the Detailed Assessment function, it is possible to indicate which JTE award the unit is striving to achieve. No ranking is an option in addition to bronze, silver, and gold. The focus of a unit service plan built upon a collaborative assessment is continuous improvement. By limiting assessments and action plans to the elements of scouting we hope to improve rather than a score to be achieved, more leaders are likely to be attracted to assessing unit strengths and needs and developing action plans that will result in improving program quality. Commissioner Tools supports the development of a collaborative assessment of any type of traditional unit at any time. Packs, troops, teams, crews, and ships can all benefit from the process, and Commissioner Tools supports each.